Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation uh, on the paper Scabbard, a suite of efficient learning with random key encapsulation mechanisms. I'm Jose and I'm going to start presenting uh, this paper and later my co-author and a colleague Suparna will follow. Uh, this is a joint work with other two co-authors, uh, Anshuman and Ingrid. So let's start look at the contents of this presentation. Uh, I will start with an introduction uh, to our paper and uh, the motivation of our work. Then um, I will talk about the design of the schemes that form this suite, the suite is covered. Uh, later, uh, Suparna will uh, talk about the security analysis of the schemes in the suite. And uh, she will also present the software implementations. And I, I will close the presentation by telling a bit of the hardware implementations and uh, with a small conclusion. So let's first look at the, the context of this work. Um, uh, NIST, uh, the National Institute of Standardization and Science Technology, is going to release in the coming year the first standard for quantum resistant cryptography. And uh, we already know the finalist of this contest. Uh, for both KM and signature categories and we can see that lattice-based schemes uh, turn out to be the preferred solution for quantum cryptography. And uh, among these lattice-based schemes or among these finalists uh, the selecting criteria by NIST will be the security analysis of this scheme and also implementation aspects that are both the efficiency of the schemes in different platforms as well as their side channel security and other issues. Um, so for that, uh, for getting a better understanding on how the efficiency is affected by the design of the scheme, let's uh, talk about the lattice problems that are used uh, in post-quantum cryptography. So the first, problem, the first problem is the learning with errors problem. And in this problem, uh, we state that it is hard to distinguish uh, a randomly sampled uh, A uh, from another sample B, which is formed as the uh, product of this, this public element A with a secret, a plus an error. So um, as we can see in the figure, we have a public matrix, uh, then we have a um, a secret which is a vector, the error is a vector, and, and the sample, the learning with error sample, is also a vector. Uh, so, what are the bottlenecks of this problem? Well, of course, the sampling of the public matrix, the sampling of the secret, and then the expensive matrix vector multiplication. And also the sampling of the error uh, that requires certain randomness. So, one uh, optimization that can be done to the learning with, random, with error problems is to introduce the learning with rounding problem. And in this problem, uh, the error is not sample and added to the sample, but it is inherently generated by a rounding operation. Um, and um, what we have made for this suite is we have used uh, this learning with rounding problem as the base to build up our schemes. But also within the learning with rounding problem, there are different variants. And the first one is the green learning with rounding problem or green learning with error, in which uh, instead of having a public matrix, we have only a public vector. And we can see it as if the public matrix is formed by rotations of this vector. And another way to see it in practice is that we have two polynomials, a public polynomial and a secret polynomial. And we make a multiplication between this polynomial, a ring multiplication, which is a convolution. Uh, <clears throat> then another variance is the um, module lattices and in the module lattices we don't have only a polynomial but we have a small matrix uh, with each of the elements of the matrix being a polynomial and of course the length of this polynomial is uh, lower than uh, in the ring version and we can achieve a similar level of security. So we use both these problems, the ring and the module uh, variants of the learning with random problem, to build all our schemes. And um, yeah, why, why our paper is interested? Well, the goal of our paper was to take advantage of all the latest 
uh, abundance in lattice-based cryptography um, as regarding to the parameter selection um, as well as the construction based on, on these problems on ring learning with rounding and model learning with rounding to create or to improve state-of-the-art key encapsulation mechanisms. And the contributions of our work are, first, uh, we have a um, fast ring learning with rounding game, which we, we call Florete. We have also a compact module learning with rounding game, which is also highly parallelizable in hardware, and we call this skin Spada. And then we have a uh, Sable, which is an alternate version of Saber, in which we modified the shape of the secrets and uh, a bit the parameters while maintaining the same construction to achieve um, a faster and more efficient scheme. And of course we provide um, implementations and software platforms and also hardware software accelerators for uh, all these three schemes in our suite. So now let's start already by, by looking at the design of our schemes. And for that, I will introduce the framework we have used to build the learning with error, uh, learning with random based key encapsulation mechanisms. We have used the same framework for all three schemes in our suite. And the only difference is, uh, of course, how these elements that you can see here in this image, the, the sample uh, B is built, and how the public matrix is sampled, and in the case of modular ring, the secret and the error. And <clears throat> if you can see, this is a generic construction of a key encapsulation mechanism. And uh, in the case of lattices, we need to use these um, encoding functions, these uh, error correction codes, to uh, recover the same message between both parties. So now let's look at the design of the schemes. And uh, let's start with Florete. Uh, Florete has been designed using the ring learning with random problem because the goal was to design um, a high performance uh, scheme. Uh, we use the quotient ring uh, congruent with x to the power of 768 minus x to the power of 384 plus 1 because of security reasons. And um, the main characteristics of, of the design of this scheme is that we have reduced randomness requirements with respect to, uh, for instance, Saber, which is the scheme we are going to take as reference to compare to during our work. Uh, because we have a public polynomial of 668, 768 coefficient instead of a matrix of 3 times 3 polynomials of 256 coefficient. So we have much less coefficients to, sh to sample in the public matrix, but also the coefficients of the secret polynomial uh, that in Saber are uh, sampled from a binomial distribution. Here a sample from uh, a narrower distribution. All coefficients are minus 1, 0, or 1. And also another characteristic of uh, Florete is that the probability failure is lower uh, because each message bit is repeated three times because we have to encode a 256 bit message in a 768 coefficients so we use the repetition encoding <coughs> then uh, the next scheme in our suite is Espada and here the goal was to design a scheme that was very compact and had a very me low memory footprint so we introduced uh, um, a design that, as far as we know, is novel, in which we design a module learning with random schemes, but the length of the polynomials that form the public matrix are is um, shorter than than usual. So, as you can see here, the quotient ring is um, rings of polynomials congruent uh, with x to the power of 64 plus 1, so every polynomial has 64 coefficients. And, um, and to compensate for this, the, the public uh, matrix will have a higher rank. So we can achieve a very low memory footprint, uh, but uh, the downside is that we need more random numbers because we have to sample more elements for the public matrix. And uh, a way to mitigate the penalty in performance 
if we want to implement it in hardware is by parallelizing the operations um, and lastly we have the third uh, scheme in our suite which is Sable and uh, for Sable we use the same um, uh, construction as for Saber but uh, we introduce some changes so that's why we can see Sable as an alternate version of Saber in which uh, we reduce random randomness requirements by choosing a narrower distribution for the coefficients of the secrets and we also adjust the moduli P and Q and actually we use only the moduli P and Q uh, to tune the security level of the scheme so now I will uh, leave the floor to Suparna and she will talk about the security uh, parameters and software implementations. Hello everyone, I am Suparna Kundu. Before going to the implementation details of our suit scabbard, I would like to mention preliminary design goals of our schemes. In this performance memory graph, we pointed out the design standing of our schemes Florete, Espada and Sable respected to Saver. For Florete, we intended to achieve high performance. For Espada, our goal was to use less memory footprint. And we designed Sable to achieve a better trade-off of memory performance than Saver. For every LWR best case or chem has two important notions. These are security and failure probability. In any LWE based chem crypto system, both parties have to agree to a key with very high probability. But that key can be differ with a certain probability that is failure probability. To achieve the highest security which is CCA security, we need to strike a balance between security and failure probability. That depends on Q modulus n degree of the generating polynomial of the ring and sigma which is the noise. That is minimum of standard deviation of the distribution of secret and errors. If we increase Q keeping n and sigma fixed then security and failure probability both will decrease. If we increase n keeping Q and sigma fixed and if we increase sigma keeping n and Q fixed then security and failure probability both will increase. To find failure probability we modify the saver script and for the security valuation we used Duca et al's leaky LW estimator. We obtained the final parameter set of our scheme by searching exhaustively in between all possible values of all the parameters of LWR based scheme just by keeping n fixed with our security goal. Here our goal is to obtain bit security level greater or equal to 128 and failure probability strictly less than 2 to the power minus 128. For Florete we fixed n equal to 768 and as it is ring based so matrix dimension L equals 1. Chosen underlying ring modulus Q equal to 10 bits, rounded modulus P equal to 9 bits, T coefficient of rec help polynomial is 3 bits and we have used one coefficient of ciphertext to hide one bit message. So B equal to 1 and for the secret sampling we used centered binomial distribution with parameter mu equals 1. This set of parameter help us to obtain 157 bit of security together with failure probability 2 to the power minus 131. For the 768 cross 768 polynomial multiplication in Florete, we used Tunkuk 3 way multiplication on top of Sever efficient 256 cross 256 polynomial multiplication. This is a hybrid model which uses Tunkuk, Karatsuba and schoolbook multiplication. In Espada, length of ciphertext polynomial is 64 and message length is 256 bits. That's why we needed one coefficient of ciphertext to hide 4 bits of message. So B equals 4. Here we have chosen N equals 64, vector dimension L equals 12, Q equals 15 bits and P equals 13 bits and T equals 3 bits. And the parameter mu of centered binomial distribution here is 3. This helps us to obtain 128 bit security together with failure probability 2 to the power minus 167. Matrix vector multiplication is one of the most time consuming operation here. As this scheme is module LWR based then parallel computation will reduce the time of computation. 
Also, the length of the polynomial here is 64 in the public matrix A and secret vector S. And 64 cross 64 polynomial multiplication is very fast in hardware. So, here we can directly perform the multiplications in hardware efficiently. Hence, if we use L parallel processors R1, R2 up to RL for computing L polynomial multiplications of the matrix vector multiplication, it helps to make the skip efficient. For different levels of security in saver, they kept Q and P fixed and adjust the standard deviation of secret sigma. But here we kept sigma fixed and varies Q and P and tried to make standard deviation of error and secret same. We found this set of parameters of three security levels of sublay by maintaining the security bound and corresponding failure probability. Polynomial multiplication used in sublay is also same as saver. The slide contains results of implementation in C and AVX. For benchmarking, we have used system with Intel Core i7 with hyper threading turbo boost and multi core support disabled and compiled with GCC with optimization flag O3. Here, security level of each scheme is greater or equal to 128 bit. As you see, flow rate is faster than all other schemes in C and AVX implementation. It was our initial goal also. The performance of flow rate on C and AVX is faster than saver by at least 45%, 26% and 10% for key gen, in caps and decaps respectively. And the performance of sable on C and AVX is also faster than saver. And the performance of spada on C and AVX is approximately two times slower than saber. For the Cortex M4 implementation, we have used STM32 F4 discovery port running at 24 megahertz speed and by using the PQM4 framework. Kyber is another niche round 3 finalist game like Saber. As you can see, Florete is faster than all other schemes and Espada needs least stack memory. Florete performs better than Saber for all of the algorithms. Also requires almost 3 times more stack memory for each algorithms of Florete than Saber. Keygen and NCAPS algorithms of Florete is faster than Kyber, but DCAPS algorithm of Kyber is faster than Florete. But the overall performance of Florete is better than performance of Kyber. Sable performs better than Saber in all the algorithms and also needs little less stack memory than Saber for each of algorithms. Spada needs twice time than Saber for each of the algorithms, but stack memory requirement of Spada is lower than Saber for each of three algorithms, keygen, NCAPS and DCAP. The stack memory requirement of SPADA is also lower than Kyber 2, which uses in plus entity multiplication. Number theoretic transformation is another method of polynomial multiplication. It was not used in Saber due to power of 2 moduli. Recently, Chung et al applied entity to perform polynomial multiplication in Saber by considering a larger ring such that the multiplication of any two number of previously used ring always belongs to this large new ring. In this plot, we named that scheme Saver Entity. Saver Entity received a performance improvement than Saver. By applying similar technique, Savle also got speed up. Although this is just first draft, not an efficient implementation. Savle Entity faster than Savle for all of three algorithms, keygen, NCAPS and DCAPS. Florete and Spada would also receive a certain speed up by applying this technique. Remaining part of our talk will be continued by my colleague Jose Maria Barmudumera. Thank you Suparna. Okay, so uh, yeah, as for the hardware implementations, um, we want to stress that the goal of our paper was not to perform a full exploration of the hardware architectures that can be used to accelerate other schemes, but rather to provide some guidelines and uh, uh, to have some uh, tool to compare these different schemes. So for this reason, we haven't implemented the full schemes in hardware, but we have used a hardware software co-design approach that allowed us more flexibility in the first place, but also a uh, faster feedback in the design cycle while uh, implementing the algorithms or tuning the parameters. Uh, so in this hardware software co-design approach, we have decided to implement only the polynomial multiplication in hardware. Why? Because this is a critical operation for all schemes, but also is the operation that is different for each scheme. And also even within each scheme, it can vary for each parameter set because it depends on the 
uh, length of the polynomials that are involved that are different in the case of uh, Florete, uh, Spada and Sable, but also in the parameter set if the error distribution changes. Uh, however, we would also like to note that uh, hashing uh, is also an important bottleneck in lattice-based cryptography and that all of the schemes all the schemes would benefit uh, highly from having uh, a hashing module uh, in hardware also but uh, the hashing module would be the same for the three schemes in our suite because at this moment we are using Ketchak as the hashing function for all three so we decided to focus only on the polynomial multiplication and I'm going to discuss now uh, what are the differences between the three schemes so first of all I will start with Florete and I will explain the hardware par partition uh, for Florete so as you remember it's a ring learning with random scheme in which we have uh, polynomials of 768 coefficients so what we did here uh, was to break down this uh, polynomial multiplication between polynomials of 768 uh, coefficients uh, in uh, five multiplications of polynomials of 256 coefficients by using Tumcook 3 algorithm. And then after that, we can reuse the hardware for Saber, uh, the pol any polynomial multiplication uh, for uh, 256 coefficient uh, polynomials that doesn't exploit uh, any particular shape of the polynomials. Uh, so this is what we did for Floret and we reuse the hardware for Saber. For the case of Espada, um, the hardware software partition as it is now is that only the polynomial multiplication is implemented in hardware. So we have to uh, we have to design a uh, polynomial multipliers for 64 coefficient polynomials and um, yeah we did this with the idea of achieving a um, decent performance while keeping the area low because the goal of Espada was compactness and here we, we want to stretch that if the designer wants to achieve high performance you should have also the hashing on hardware and you should parallelize the hashing so that you can generate um, the coefficients of the polynomials that will be multiplied in parallel uh, also in parallel um, and then finally uh, the hardware acceleration for uh, Sable uh, for Sable we can use the same polynomial uh, multiplier as we use for for Saber and also the one we, we use uh, for the internal uh, multiplications of Floret, the 256 coefficient polynomial multiplication. But um, in this case, uh, we can also use uh, a specific construction, and we decided to design a um, high performance multiplier for Sable, which uh, exploits the shape of the secrets, the fact that the secrets uh, are small, as uh, it has been done for Saber in previous work. So you can see here that in contrast to Saber, this is easier to do for for Sable because the coefficients are even smaller. And finally, I will sum up all the hardware results in this table. And in the paper, you have uh, numbers and performance for the full schemes when using the hardware software uh, accelerator but here I focus only on the performance of the multiplier and only on the area of, of the multiplier because that is what we implemented on hardware and uh, we can see here that uh, for Florete we are using the same multiplier as for Saber or, or compact accelerator for Saber and uh, for Spada we are using also a compact uh, design so we can compare uh, this Florete and Espada numbers to the numbers of the first Saber implementation, which is shown in row 4. Uh, whereas the first 
comparison for Sable would be with the implementation in the fifth row in the stable uh, saber and we can see that uh, we achieve even though we have different FPA technologies we achieve very similar results with much less area so yeah that's that's it all for our presentation and uh, I will wrap up with the conclusions so first of all uh, in this work we have improved the practical aspects of the state of the art uh, in lattice-based cryptography uh, by providing a florete which is a faster um, a key encapsulation mechanism by providing espada which is uh, m the most compact uh, key encapsulation mechanism and uh, by uh, tweaking a saber to create uh, an alternate version a sable that improves certain characteristics of uh, of uh, saber uh, but also uh, we have introduced new design decisions uh, when designing games and in particular uh, how the parameters are chosen in SPADA uh, has a uh, novel with respect to how it was done in the state of the art and uh, finally the, the future work lines and how to follow up this work of course we are going to provide parameters for other security levels for Florete and for SPADA we already did for Sable and we should explore uh, different hardware architectures for the acceleration of these schemes. So, now, that's it. Thank you for your attention, and we will be glad to answer your questions.